Hello, my name's Helene Hewitt. I've worked at the Met Office for over 15 years. I now head up a group of scientists who are working on understanding and predicting climate in the polar regions. Satellite data is really essential to the work we do. As part of our role, we have to evaluate the sea ice simulation in climate models. And to do this, we need to confront models with reality. Now, unfortunately, there are very few in situ observations in the polar regions. So we rely heavily on the use of satellite data. Satellites have been measuring ice concentration from space for the last 30 years or so. And these are put together into long-term data sets of ice concentration, which allow us to see how sea ice area varies on both seasonal and interannual timescales. And it's data sets such as these which um, have allowed us to say that Arctic sea ice has declined at a rate of 4% per decade and that in September 2012 we saw the record low sea ice extent for September. Excitingly, scientists are now starting to get measurements of Arctic sea ice thickness from satellites, particularly satellites such as Cryosat 2, and it's observations such as these which will allow us to really estimate how much volume of ice is left in the Arctic sea ice pack. Overall, satellite data it is invaluable to the work of my group. It helps us to better understand the mechanisms of change in Arctic sea ice and to have much greater confidence in future projections of sea ice change from climate models.